And then let's talk about every time you look a mess, you run into everybody and their mama. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm gonna to be doing like a realistic get ready with me. I'm gonna be running errands. It's my maintenance day and I gotta look like something leaving this house. So if you wanna see how I got my hair to look so juicy and effortless and my skin to look so glowy and plump, make sure you guys are liking this video, subscribing to my channel and keep watching. Okay, so today we're gonna to be doing a different kind of get ready with me. This is gonna be more of like a realistic get ready with me it's my maintenance day I'm running errands I have a lot to do so on days like this I like to look presentable put together but not done up it's not necessary um call it a clean girl aesthetic why don't you I know that's what you guys call it but this is like literally like no makeup if any very 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 minimal but we're definitely going to be doing our hair and a skincare routine and putting together a outfit to do these things um, and we're going to chit chat while we do this. I forgot what I was going to say already. Wow. But anyways, so yeah, we're going to start with our hair because let me tell you, one thing about it, if my hair is done, I feel like the baddest alive, okay? If my hair is done, I feel great. I don't need the makeup. I don't need the outfit. My hair is done. I feel great. So, so this is the wig that I have today. Look how juicy these curls are. Like this is perfect. Perfect, perfect. I love this wig because of the pattern. It's gonna be very low maintenance. I don't have to style it before I go out because maybe I'm running out, okay? And it is a closure. So this is probably gonna be a 15 minute install and I love that for us. Um, I will leave all the information for this wig down below, of course, for you guys. But I think this is the perfect like summer wig, throw on wig, and it just looks really, really good. And this one has an elastic band, and I personally like these because you see how it's just sewn on there? It doesn't have those like clasps, because some of the elastic bands are removable, which is cool, I guess, but it makes the wig bulky. Um, but I like this a lot better. So I'm gonna go ahead and apply this. And it's a lot more comfortable too. So I did bleach these knots off camera. I washed the wig, of course, to make the waves a pop. And I'm just gonna do a middle part because this is a closure, babes. I've been obsessed with like closures or natural installs lately. It's just a lot easier for me. Um, the frontals are when I'm really trying to serve, when I'm really trying to give. But lately my life has been very, very lackluster. So there's been no need for all the extras. Unless again content, but in real life you guys this this is the most this is doing some Okay, this is doing something So this is a regular closure. I know I've been doing a lot of those um, glueless closures But this is what we're working with today, and I actually like this because It's gonna be late. Okay, I get to just do my thing Like so oh, I love these curls So I'm gonna take my ooh. I'm gonna take this Erica J liquid melt and I'm gonna apply it. Oh, there's hair everywhere. I'm gonna apply it. And I like to apply it kind of like right on my hairline. Maybe a little bit below, but not too much because something about creating a new hairline freaks me out. <laughs> so my wigs are typically on my hairline. Yes, I still have my edges. I literally like put some kind of oil or, or like growth spray on my edges every day and my edges are not the thickest but I think it counteracts with the tension and then like at night when I put it on my edges are like soaking up all those nutrients so it kind of works out guys. So yeah, this is pretty much going to be it. It's a super easy install, but I'm going to be doing my skincare, which I love to do when I'm going out. I just like my skin to be nice and glowy and radiant. I just wash my face. There's nothing on it. Um, I'm getting my brows done today. I'm getting a full body wax. I'm getting my nails done. So I told myself this year that I was going to leave the house looking more presentable. And that does not mean having a full beat. That does not mean having a bust down as I'm putting on a wig, but this is like, you know, whatever. But um, I just feel like a lot of times I go out the house looking crazy and then I leave the house and I'm super self-conscious and then 
my confidence is not showing because I'm a confident person, you know, we all have our insecurities, but overall I'm a confident person. And then when I go out, I'm like, I look a mess. Oh my gosh, I'm Ashley. Oh my gosh, my outfit doesn't match. And it just like, it's just crazy. So I told myself I would put together an outfit, whether it's jeans and a t-shirt, a full um, like matching set or something, just something together. And that also means keeping up my maintenance because that's something that makes me feel good. I love getting my waxes. I love getting my nails done. I love getting my brows done. I just love all of that. That is something that makes me happy. I don't do it for anybody else but myself. So yeah, that's actually what I'm doing today. I'm, um, ooh, I'm getting my nails done. My nails are really cute right now. Do you guys see them? They're so freaking cute, right? But um, I'm actually going on a trip. So you guys know, new nails, new me, new this, new this, new that. So that's why I'm getting my nails done again. Um, so yeah, I just need some fresh, fresh. But yeah, that was pretty much it. So I, ooh. So I woke up this morning, I took a shower. So I was watching this video the other day. Um, I'm gonna try to link it below. Um, but I came across this video and it was about black women and us being in the hygiene Olympics. And it was actually a really good video. I forgot her name, um, but she makes a bunch of other videos. And it was just very informative and she had like a non-bias um, outlook on, as a black woman speaking on it, she had a non-bias like opinion. And she was 100% correct. She was basically saying that like, oop. She was basically saying that like black women always have to prove ourselves, right? And that was so smoky, oh my gosh, I'm so sorry. She was basically saying that black women always have to prove themselves on how clean we are and who's cleaner than who. Oh no, I took six showers today, oh you took three, you dirty, blah, blah, blah. And it is so true, it is so, so true. So if any of you guys are on Twitter, by the way, follow me on Twitter, that's like where I'm the most active. If you ever think I'm disappeared, I did not disappear, I'm on Twitter. I am but um you know on Twitter we're always talking about hygiene we hear about how certain people don't wash their legs um, we just learn new things about each other that we really just don't need to know every other day and it's really interesting and when those topics come up here come everybody in the comments like oh girl I say two three hour showers every day not two sorry six they get very excessive i take six two hour baths and then i hit the shower and then i this and then i douche and then I, and i'm like girl no you don't no you don't i if you guys know me and watch me you guys know i love my shower routine i love buying new products i love smelling good but at some point we had to be for real Who's taking three, four showers a day? The most showers I've taken in a day is two. Maybe three if I went out, came back in, went out. You know what I'm saying? Because I have, for me personally, my main goal is going into that bed clean. I do not go into my bed without taking a shower. That's it for me. That's my big thing. But y'all are like, like, why? Why? There is no reason for that. And I feel like a lot of, and she was right, a lot of um, black women have to prove themselves on being clean because we're, we're constantly ridiculed. And anytime you see a photo with a bunch of black women, the first thing somebody says, oh, I know what smells in there, or this and that. Why do we associate blackness with filth? That is crazy because to my knowledge, we are very clean people because we have other people I'm not gonna say what or who but we have other people who talk about they don't wash their legs they have shower days uh, they shower once a week there was some post and this person was saying like um, she had put it in the video it was on Twitter and they basically put like how many times they went out for the year how many times they had did the do and how many times they took a shower and for the year they took 37 showers 37 showers so on there they they did the do 60 something times took a shower 37 times and you know they was um they was and it's just like nobody's nobody's um ridiculing them for that 
But let me say I didn't take a shower for a day. It's, it's a problem. I'm dirty. I'm filthy. I got an odor. And when in reality, I really don't. <laughs> um, I'm gonna pluck this a little bit. So it's so funny because whenever I'm like done up, like I'm talking like full B, hair done, baby, the world stops. Carry on. <laughs> Literally, if I'm out, people are opening the door for me, complimenting me, being attentive. And then when I look like who did it and why, or even if I look like how I'm about to look, nobody pays me dust, which is fine with me because I don't like unnecessary attention. So I'd be like, cool. Um, but it's just very interesting to me. And I noticed it because the other day, I literally texted my best friend. The other day I went to this place that I go to all the time. I, um, I ordered food and I went to pick it up. And normally I literally order my food, roll out of bed, pick it up, come back home. But this day I had just finished recording and I um, I had pulled up to the place. Baby, the same people I see every time. And I say this because like I said, I go there all the time. Opening the door for me. Oh, what do you need? What are you here for? Oh, go over there. Oh, have a great day. And I'm like, I know you fucking lying. And I'm just kind of like, and then people are gonna be like, oh, you stink. You have an attitude. You know, you're, you're stuck up. But like, no, I'm... Um, I'm not feeding into that. I'm not being nasty to the people, but y'all see me all the time. <laughs> and nobody stunts me. Nobody asks me what I'm here for, opens the door for me, and it's the same people. I'm very good at faces. I do remember faces. Names, no. Faces, yes. Um, and I'm just kind of like, that's just so crazy to me. I don't know. It's just very weird. Um, and... And stuff like that is why people feel pressure to always have to like wear makeup every day or like look a certain way. And you know, things like that in addition to social media is why women feel less than or feel like they have to be done up from head to toe in order to be deemed something. I don't know the word, somebody fill in the blank. But it's just very like, mm. I basically told myself this year that I was going to do what makes me feel good. If I go out and I don't feel like wearing makeup, if I don't, if I go out and I don't feel like wearing heels, if I go out and I don't feel like having a bust down and I want my hair to be in a messy bun and that makes me feel good, that is what I'm going to do. I feel like a lot of times we get pressured on what other people will like or what we think is acceptable. And that's crazy. That is crazy. We have to give ourselves grace. Even like this whole clean girl aesthetic um, thing, which I think is probably that phase is over. I don't know. Um, it's interesting because are you implying that girls who don't wear a slick back bun and minimal makeup are dirty? Is that what we're implying? Like, what, what is really going on here? <laughs> what is happening? Um, it's just it's just very very interesting And that's why I just do me and you should do you um, yeah maintenance days you guys are my favorite I freaking love maintenance days and I try to do everything at one in one day so that everything just like feels fresh like mm, It just makes me so happy um, But my maintenance is very low um I literally get my brows done, I get a full body wax, and then I get my nails and toes done. And I, oh, am I burning this? Um, and I have actually gotten that down to once a month. I used to go, well, waxes you can do for every four weeks. Um, nails, you can do whenever. I used to go every other week to get my nails done. But honey, I started getting real bougie and creative with my nails and it just started getting very expensive and it takes a long time. Like this is hand painted, baby. She did not, this is not a sticker, this is not anything. So it just takes a long time and it just, it's just a lot. So I'm able to cut that down to um, once a month. Uh, if I really want to change my nails or if my nails break or whatever the case is, I will go twice in a month. Um, but that's it for maintenance. I don't know what else I can get done. I don't wear lashes. 
Um, I do need to start incorporating facials, but I have not found a esthetician that I feel like is a good match for me. Um, but yeah. Comment down below what your maintenance consists of and how often you get it done. Because I know we're all different. Everybody does different things. And you know, for a long time, I equated um, full glams and heels and all that to feeling good. When in reality, I don't feel good like that. Like I would not feel good today if I had to put on a full face of makeup, put on heels to go do my maintenance and then walk around the mall. Like that would not, to somebody else that makes you feel like the baddest. I have told you guys time and time again, this is my favorite pattern of hair. It is not a deep wave, which is very high maintenance, and it's not curly, which is also high maintenance. I just feel like this just gives like effortless vibes and it just looks so good. So what I'm about to do before we do the skincare because I gotta leave soon. One second. I'm gonna use two products on the hair. I'm gonna use, well, one really. I'm gonna use this spray bottle with just water and then this Design Essentials Avocado and Almond Daily Moisturizing Lotion, which is for curly hair. Um, and yeah, I'm just gonna like lightly spray my hair just to define it a little bit more. And to show you guys. But I like when my hair gets big. Personally, that's my vibe. Just gonna wet my hair like 70%. You wanna especially do the ends. And I love this spray bottle because it just mists the hair so nicely. So now I'm just brushing my hair with this like Denman like brush. It's not an actual Denman brush, but it's like one of those curly hair brushes. Um, and I like this because it actually combs through the hair and defines the curls without curling the hair into each other. Cause I don't like when my hair like curls into each other. Like that just does nothing for me. I want it to be defined. And then I'm just gonna scrunch it. And then lastly, I'm gonna use this um, glass polisher spray. I have been obsessed with this. Um, it smells good for one, and it just leaves your hair nice and shiny, baby. So yeah, this is that. You guys see how quick that was? Oh, the hair looks so good. I'm about to do the other side. By the end of the day, it'll probably be like this big, but because I put the product, it'll be defined and juicy. So I'm gonna go to the other side. Make sure you get all the hair. My hair looks so juicy, so cute. So now I'm gonna take off this elastic band. <sighs> they be so tight. And take it off slowly, guys. Do not rip it off. And boom. And I'm not doing baby hairs. You guys know that has not been my thing lately. I don't know why. But I just feel like without the baby hairs, it just looks so clean like you can't tell me nothing and then let's talk about every time you look a mess you run into everybody in a mama this is the hair it is gorgeous oh i'm living i'm living i'm living i might do a little baby hair at the end i don't know yet but i need to do my skincare so we get head out so i pin back my hair wash my hands i always wash my hands after touching my hair, whether I'm doing my makeup, whether I'm doing my skincare, because all those hair products, sprays, oils, serums are on my hands. And all that's gonna happen is it's gonna get in my face, clog my pores, and make me break out more than I already do, okay? So, moving along, I'm really just gonna do my skincare. I don't wanna even like conceal anything today. I just want a fresh face. And I'm gonna be going to the mall, and I'm probably gonna be trying on clothes, and I don't want my makeup transferring onto the clothes, okay? So, first things first, uh, mm, 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 mm. Okay, I'm done. So I like to go on with this um, snail mucin essence. I love this stuff because it is just really good. And I don't know what an essence does for real. To my knowledge, it helps. Um, it helps the other products like penetrate the skin. I don't know, but this stuff, you guys, makes my face feel so good, so hydrated. I love it. So I like to go in with that first if I don't use a toner. I'm going in with this Good Molecules Niacinamide Serum because 
it helps with texture and I have a lot of texture on me. Well, really on my chin and that's hormonal. Um, but it does help a lot. You notice that it does help and keeps my face nice and moisturized. This is like my daytime um, face routine if I'm going out. Um, because my face just is like really glowy and I have all the right products that are going to just absorb nicely into my skin, so. And then let's talk about every time you look a mess, you run into everybody in a mama. And then I'm going to go on with the CEO Vitamin C Brightening Serum, which is almost done, so I got to take it out this way. Not flying everywhere. <laughs> The vitamin C gives my face an all over brightening look. Um, it doesn't really help with the dark spots, but it overall gives me a bright look. And I'm not using anything for bright spot, I mean dark spots today, cause I'm gonna be out in the sun and I don't want it stinging my upper lip. So this is a very like hydrating, glowy type of look. Why don't you? Okay. And for the start of the show, honey, I have this Natrium or is it Naturum? You know what I'm talking about. Um, Dew Glow Moisturizer and SPF 50. This was sold out for weeks on top of weeks on top of weeks. And I was stocking it online and it still wasn't in stock. And then I went to Target and they had it. So I got it. And it has SPF 50. I think I said that. So I like to use this um, during the day, of course. And I just love how it makes my skin look and feel. It's kind of like that thicker moisturizer, which is what I personally like in a moisturizer. Even underneath makeup, I just feel like a thick moisturizer just goes with my skin. Does anybody else like the smell of sunscreen? Like I literally love the smell. But lastly, I go in with this Elemis Superfood Facial Oil to lock everything in. And I don't really like oils, but this one changed my mind. I use this oil and another oil, but they're just so good. It's just so, so good. And it just gives me that extra glowy look and if you guys are noticing i'm not putting the droppers on my skin i'm either putting it in my hand or dropping it onto my face you don't want it touching your skin and then putting it back in the container um so i just avoid that by all means and then to top it off i'm going to be going in with my laneige lip glowy balm this is my favorite this one look a little old but i have so many of these these are in like every one of my purses I've been using these forever. This one is a berry one, or I typically use the peach. Those are my favorite. So yeah, that's it, you guys. This is the face routine. I was going to go in and conceal this, but I just feel like that's just going to go a route I don't want to go. And I just feel really radiant, really fresh, really pretty. So I'm about to put on my outfit and show you guys, and then we're going to head out because I have appointments to make. I like to be on time. So yeah, guys, this is my hair after about 10 or 15 minutes. It is still super defined, but it's like dried and fluffy. This is like exactly how I like my hair to be. Um, it's still a little wet. It's like, it's like 85% dry. Um, by the time I walk out this house, it's gonna be dry, but it looks so good. This is gonna be so low maintenance. I did not have to style it, curl it, cut it. I don't like to layer this kind of hair because it starts to look choppy unless you're doing like a what they call it, like a bang type of thing. Like I don't, yeah, we're just gonna leave it like this. And also, if you are going to the mall and you are gonna be trying on clothes, have your hair done, I promise you it helps so much. When your hair is not done and you're trying on clothes, it makes it so much worse. That's just, a, maybe this is a me thing, but I'd be like, oh, this is so ugly. But if your hair is done, you kind of get a feel of how the outfit's gonna look, you know, what you're looking for. So yeah, anyways, I'm gonna show you guys my outfit, perfume, and then we're gonna head out. Okay, so I'm gonna start with perfume, and today I'm gonna be wearing my Bond Number no. Nine Greenwich Village. Love this, especially for the springtime. It's like the perfect, you know, day. It's perfect daytime and nighttime. I get so many compliments on this. It lasts throughout the day, so I can just smell myself. And I know when people smell me, they're like, ah. So yeah, I love this. Um, this smells like if I want to compare it to anything. I used to always say that this smells like Burberry Her and Ariana Grande Cloud, but it doesn't. It is similar, it is in the same family, but this just smells a lot more complex, a lot richer, um, and it lasts 
10 times longer but this is also like a 400 dollars bottle of perfume versus the other ones that are a fraction of the price so um i definitely love this stuff and i've had this for a while now this is a 3.3 ounce but i've had this for like two or three years Aaliyah got it for me for christmas one year and i've been hooked ever since i actually might get a another one today um when i go to the mall and smell a few other ones but we'll see but anyways yeah i overspray myself i don't care i spray my hair i spray every inch of my body so moving along to the outfit i am getting a wax like i said and when you get a wax you don't want to wear anything tight after because it can cause ingrowns skin irritation all that so i like to wear something as loose as possible and something i can slip in and out of especially for one getting a wax two for comfort and three if i'm going to be trying on clothes i want something i can slip out of in and out without any problems you know because i hate trying on clothes already but yeah you guys this is it pockets pockets and it says my outfit online like right here and somewhere on this hoodie it says it too i don't know where but yeah this is super cozy and then i'm gonna be wearing these slides these are actually from target they were 15 dollars and I think they were on sale. It was like buy one, get one half off and I got some other sandals. Um, but these are by Wild Fable and they look like this. Super comfortable and they had them in every shade. I literally just took the tags off. That's why I'm touching them like this. But you guys, they have these in every color. They had different shades of nude. They had black. They had, I think white. They had yellow. They had pink. They had blue. They had orange. I literally want to get them in every color. This is what I needed. So I'm going to wear this. I have on socks as well so yeah this is what it's giving today super cute i smell good i look good i'm glowing and i need to go before i'm late all right bye